Well, we got, I don't know why I keep saying it. Hot Boys 438 strikes back at Glock 9's AFNF the Army. RP AFNF Meat Mo or Meat. I don't, I'm going to say Meat Mo. I ain't going to lie, I don't know how to pronounce that. And I, that's crazy. I think he died. The same day he got out of jail. Them niggas A man shot and killed that's last night in Orlando was tied to a gang-related shooting in Osceola County almost a year ago. Very somber environment here right now with people huddling together, some even hugging each other, and they've been here for hours. Um, I saw one person also break down in tears after receiving information from an officer. And I, I ain't shocked, but I ain't expecting what's gonna happen this bad. Jakia Burton still can't believe her son, Demetrius Cox Jr., will never come home. She told News 6 that he was the man found shot in Paramore early Monday morning. Hours after he turned 21 years old. Hey, Damn. Man, Damn, good? it was. We got some so it, he got out of jail and turned 21 the same day? Or what? Oh, today, man. I thought, he, I, thought he, I thought he got shot as when he got out of jail. I th hey, let me see. 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 Let was marked moments after being released from prison. Exactly. Plotting celebrations, because Glock 9 was just a few days away from being on the outside, he got to come home to a funeral instead. We're going to break down the hit that placed a target on his head and led to the retaliation that took his life. Demetrius Jr. Cox, a Florida native with a promising future, good grades, high school graduate, football scholarship, Christian upbringing. Demetrius had all of the ingredients going for him to lead a life of positivity that could even be used to inspire other youth in the community. Like so many fallen victims to the influence of the street, Demetrius would have been in the way with good intentions to join the rising criminal element plaguing Florida streets. Demetrius would become another of Hot Boys 438 Ops and align himself beside alleged head honcho, Block 9, and his all family, no friends, AFNF the Army. Oh, okay. From then forward, friends, yeah. he would adopt his gang moniker, AFNF Mimo, and the two would become closer as time proceeded. And he would soon put in work for his comrade and boss, Block 9. Eventually trailing the path of taking out one of his ops that brought retaliation down upon his life. Yeah, that boy was on it. Black man, talented enough to get a football scholarship, end up, end up so deep down the rabbit hole. His criminal life started a small D. At a young age, he would appear under the law's radar for a misdemeanor charge. Still in his infant stages of the street life, he began racking up traffic violations from 2015 onward. But as the beef intensified between Hot Boy and Glock 9, Meatmo began treading down a darker path. While Meatmo was sinking deeper into the street mentality, and now, finding himself in the hands of the law, the beef was intensifying, and the body count on both sides was steadily rising. From the past in the 14-year-old, the Quarvius Fudge, targeted by Lonzo Hall, who was the shooter hanging out the Nissan Altima, to the unfortunate loss of the innocent lives of 3-year-old Dequayne James Felix Jr. and 14-year-old Dennis Joshua Atkinson. Three-year-old Daquan Felix was the second child to die from gun violence in Orange County in just 24 hours. Another family in Pine Hills also mourning the loss of their 14-year-old son. And tonight, Sheriff John Mina says it's the result of gang feud it? in the county that began with a drive-by back in July. Meatmo was becoming more embroiled in the beef, so much so that his lifestyle took the leap to the next step, taking a life. This was the point of no return, the one that placed Meatmo as a problem for the ops and a target for 438 to exact revenge for what he did next. On April 14, 2020, Meatmo carried out a hit in honor of his gang, AFNF. The unlucky target was 438's affiliate, Wolf Luther King Luma. The incident took place at a house party in Davenport where an altercation occurred and Meatmo deleted his op. Details involving the Damn. hit show that Meatmo was ready for blood but never it came to him. Eyewitnesses recall seeing Meatmo in the party dancing with the strap. This info found its way throughout the party, which prompted Meatmo and a homie of his to return to their vehicle parked outside. Witnesses describe it as a black SUV. The events that occurred next escalated the situation and shows that you can't let your guard down at any time when in the street. Right. Witnesses' account states that Wolf was lurking in the party with a black lock visibly noticeable. Wolf and another 438 associate will be seen leaving the party not too long after, as if given time for Meatmo to get comfortable and be caught lacking, the pair of rivals would then end up in a verbal 
for altercation outside the party, which sparked in the gunfire as her tempers flared beyond restraint. The cops would be alerted, but by the time they arrived, there was nothing but a pool of blood and countless shell casings lying about. So who Deputies would later be shot? contacted by the Orange County Sheriff's Office in reference to a shooting victim dropped off at Dr. Phillips Hospital. The victim was confirmed to be 20-year-old 438 member Wolf Luther King Luma. And the altercation that turned into a shootout was between Wolf and his associate and Meat Mo and his, Wolf would suffer bullet wounds. His homie tried to save his life, rushed him to the hospital, but unfortunately, Meat Mo won that battle and lived on. While Hot Boy mourned the loss of his homie, Oh, he did that, dude. Hey, before. Yeah, man. Oh, this is this. This is when he. This is when he did that video. Yep, twenty twenty, not twenty nineteen. Yeah, I found. I knew about him in twenty twenty for sure. Yeah, I remember this. Don't he still got that up? I'm not gonna. Lie. I remember this, bro. Mimo was back I think. doing his thing, but Mimo's celebration was short-lived. While the street credit was boosted for upping the score on his ops, investigators was hot on his trail. With eyewitnesses' accounts and the recovered bullet cases that matched, oh no, this man knows so much information. The party, officers made their arrest. He was detained and held at the Osceola County Jail without bond on a charge for the premeditated hit. Mimo had finally reached the pinnacle of his downhill detour. Bright future turned into a dark past. But the streets never forget. And sooner right. than later, it comes to collect for the life you stole. On one end, things seem to begin to align for Meatmo. He would finally be looking at the light of day when he was given $200,000 bail through the eyewitness accounts that painted Wolf as the one looking for trouble, and Meatmo was defending himself from shots being fired. Even better, his gang head, Glock 9, was also behind bars and looking to become a free man all the same. On March 7, 2021, on his 21st birthday, Meatmo was back out on the streets after his mother posted his bond. What some could say as ignorance, Mimo allowed himself to be called lacking, being too caught up in birthday celebrations and being a free man to remember that revenge never sleeps. Bro, he got out the same day as his birthday and died on his birthday? That's hell. Y'all lame. I ain't gonna lie, that was lame. That's lame, bro. That's lame. That's so lame, bro. Posted his bond. What some could say as ignorance, Mimo allowed himself to be called lacking, being too caught up in birthday celebrations, and being a free man to remember and if he revenge, didn't, never sleep. I, don't know. I say that was his downfall, but his downfall was following the path of a gangster in the first place. Fact. Just hours after his release from Osceola County, Mimo was marked in retaliation for the hit on Wolf. Orlando police officers would respond to shots being fired well, I take a year. around the area of Amelia Street near Oh, he was locked up, I forgot. But Mimo's body was found shot up about half a mile away near Westmoreland Drive and Bentley Street in a black Corvette filled with bullet holes. Time to celebrate life, turning in tears and bloodshed as Mimo would be pronounced to cease at the scene. His mother knew this day would come due to his lifestyle, but she was unprepared for how soon it actually knocked at her door. And who could blame her? No matter the day or time, no mother would be able to bear her son's life being taken from her. A family overcome by grief. I ain't shocked, but I ain't expecting what's gonna happen this fast. Jakia Burton still can't believe her son, Demetrius Cox Jr., will never come home. Why did she you say that? that he was the you mean never come home? Obviously, in bro. Early Monday morning, hours Stay the different way next time, bro. While friends and family poured their hearts out for the loss of someone they held dear. Very somber environment here right now with people huddling together, some even hugging each other, and they've been here for hours. Um, I saw one person also break down in tears. Ops also took the opportunity to poke fun in typical savage fashion. I don't even want to see it, bro. It was just his birthday. He just got out of jail. Now y'all yeah, took him out. Dude, that shit crazy. Rest that cousin. We gonna meet again. See you later. That's not the ops, nigga. These are niggas. Crazy that Glock 9 will be released just days after. That was his boy. It would be great if someone squashes the beef, takes the high road. But the thing is, so many lives gone already. So I think I get it. So he must have posted a birthday party thing. And then them niggas must have found out where it was. And whatever happened, happened. I'm thinking, the nigga, as soon as the nigga walk out the thing where they did the Bobo, you know, you have to heard of Bob, what happened to Bobo from Chicago? He got out of jail. Like, they. Some, I guess they were just waiting on the nigga to get out. They started chasing him. 
and I think they shot him with like five, ten minutes later. Off, like, like after he got out of jail, they killed him. Like, like it wasn't as soon as he got out, but he got in the car, drove off. They were following him, I guess, and they shot him. But um, so I guess he went to like somewhere. He was actually like going somewhere. Like I'm thinking he posted location. That's what I think, bro. Cause I don't think it happened as soon as he got out. If someone squashes the beef, takes the high road. But the thing is, this shit crazy. so many lives gone already. It's a tough battle to end all of that hate and move forward. Come on, bro. AFNF and 438 have talent in their rank, especially the face of each. Block nine and hot boy. At this time, officers have a vehicle that may have been involved in meat most shooting incident. 2019 gray Dodge Charger bearing Florida license plate number HKNG58 was seen peeling out from the scene. If you're in the Florida area, just be careful because this could mean the gang situation is going to be intensified. Officials have been calling in the big guns to try to deal with the rising crime wave due to the beef between the two gangs, but no telling how things going to go. We're shot on September 21st in what detectives believe is linked to rival gangs 438 and the Army Gang. They don't think twice about it. Hey. They kill. Stay away from the streets, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, boy, they said make sure I hit the light, but hit the sub button. Oh man, no cap.